Hey guys, what's up? This is Jeff Mist here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Geekbench score for the new Mac Mini. Now I have about two applications running here. Uh, that is the Safari. I have a download going on, and uh, I have the ScreenFlow, that is my screen recorder application, running up. So let's run the benchmarks here. And uh, this doesn't usually take much of you know time to run the benchmark as on Windows and all that stuff. Now on this uh, Mac Mini, I have the specifications like I have two gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM and uh, Intel 320M graphics. Uh, sorry, Nvidia 320M graphics card, and uh, I have updated the Mac OS to 10.6.6. That is the latest version, and this is the Geekbench score that we are getting. Now, as you can see here, let me, you know, zoom in or make it bigger. And you, we have the pro processor integer performance to 2610. That is quite less compared to the i7 because uh, this uh, just is running a Core 2 Duo processor with at clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. And the processor floating performance is 4701. And this is quite good and the memory performance and all that stuff as you can see here we have all the specifications of my mac mini and we have two threads and two cores that is uh, the core to duo as we all know and this is all the image compression text decompression and all that stuff the geeky stuff so this is the test that was running with two programs open and uh, let me go through a previous test now this is a test that was running previously with uh, just one program open that is not my screen recorder just the safari and uh, there is noticeable difference between the you know scores I have the processor and teacher performance with 51 points higher than the new one and uh, we have all the things as you can compare in here so guys this was uh, the Geekbench test for the new Mac Mini that was updated on 2010 that I just bought up and this is a very nice computer as I have used and this works quite well this is fast this does everything that you need not you know suitable for video editing you know light video editing like I do you know uh, just iMovie stuff and some screen flow and all that stuff it's awesome and if you want to be going into some advanced video editing you need an iMac so guys, it's been all, it's been Chip Mister, and I will catch you guys later. Be sure to subscribe to the video, and uh, also rate, comment, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.